Hi folks, George Davis with Stone Brothers and Bird. You know, back in uh, 1964, we had the beetle invasion in the U.S. Well, we still have the beetle invasion in the south and in, in areas surrounding the south, except it's the Japanese beetle, spelled B-E-E-T-L-E. Japanese beetles are very, very invasive uh, this time of year. They normally come out in our part of the country, which is the middle part of North Carolina, around the 10th of June, and they persist for about six to seven weeks, and they frequent and feed on uh, plants that, that generate aroma, uh, such as rose bushes, crepe myrtles here in the south. Anything that generates an aroma, you can almost bet that the Japanese beetle is gonna frequent and eat that particular plant. Once they have fed themselves uh, and, and they have uh, repopulated uh, they, they will lay eggs uh, in the area that they frequent and those eggs will go dormant till the next year and then they hatch and that population is almost double and comes back to eat the same plants. Point being, there are several ways to control Japanese beetles. The very best way to control Japanese beetles is still with the old product Liquid 7. 7 is a very safe insecticide. It's been around for years and years, safe enough to use on vegetables, ornamentals, whatever. It's a contact kill. There's no residuals, so you don't have to worry if you're spraying on vegetables. Uh, you don't have to worry about residuals and waiting to, uh, to harvest the fruit or to eat the fruit. Simply wash it off and it's ready to go. Same thing on flowers and ornamentals. The only time you have to reapply is, is when it rains. After it rains because it's contact, you do have to reapply. Still the best in the uh, product on the market that I'm aware of. Uh, once you kill the beetle, then of course you've stopped the egg population as well. Now one thing that has been around for a number of years and uh, is an okay product in certain situations is the Japanese beetle trap. This actually has a bait which attracts the beetles. Uh, once they fall down inside this bag, they do not come back out. And, and you just simply change the bag once a day or once every three or four days, throw it away, replace the bag, and, uh, and you can halt the production that way. Now, the only problem with the trap is when you put a trap out, it has the bait or a lure, and not only are you gonna pull them away from what you're trying to protect, but you're also gonna pull them in from elsewhere. So I only use this in case of an absolute emergency where I cannot control everything with liquid seven. When you put a trap out, put it far enough away that you attract uh, and pull away from what you're trying to protect, uh, knowing that you're also going to bring in some from elsewhere uh, as well. But put it in a spot where when they deposit the eggs down below, it's nothing that's really going to bother anything the next year. Last but not least, what I want to mention is a product called Milky Spore. Milky Spore is an all-organic bacteria to control Japanese beetle grubs. This will kill the grubs in the ground so that the, or the eggs so that they won't hatch the next year and, and cause a problem. The milky spore, uh, you, you put it out, it's a one-time application. Uh, it's in a powder form covering 2,500 uh, and 5,000 square feet. Uh, you put it out one time and after you put it out, uh, it's good for almost 10 years. And it will, where we suggest using it is in this area that they are frequenting. Where are the beetles? Where you're having problems with the aromatic type plants? Use the milky spore and, and make sure you extend beyond the perimeter or the circumference of that area and it should take care of the grubs. Japanese beetle traps, liquid seven, milky spore. Good products.